Hey everyone, uh, tell me a date and I'll tell you what day it was. Okay, 8-9-1996. Sunday? Sunday, 2012-1988. Tuesday? Okay, that's right. 12-8-1994. Friday? Oh, that's right as well. Cool. So, how was I able to calculate this uh, quick? Let me explain it to you. <clears throat> so, uh, let's take this date for example, which is 12 August 1994. Okay. Now, I have some codes here. Okay. Let me explain uh, these to you. So, this is the code, uh, this table is the code for the year, the century part. Okay. So, the year is 1994, which falls in this lab between 19, 1900 and 1999. Okay, so the code for this is zero. I write zero here. Okay, then next I look at the last two digits of the year, which is 94. Okay, I write 94 here. Next I'm required to find the number of leap years in 94. Okay, how do I find that? Divided by four. Okay, I divide by four, take the quotient, that will be the number of leap years. So the quotient when I divide 94 by four is 23. Okay, next is the month. Okay, so here I have some codes for the months. Okay, August, the code for August is 3. This is April. Code for August is 3. I write 3 here. <coughs> okay, finally it is the day, the, which is 12. I write that. Okay, now I have to sum all this, which comes to 132. And this has to be divided by 7. Okay. And uh, check what the remainder is. Okay. So in this 132, I remove 70, 62 remains, which is one short of 63. So the remainder here is 6. Now, what is the code? Uh, what is the day for 6? It is Friday. So 12th August 1994 was a Friday. Now, I'll quickly explain how these codes work. Okay. And how do you remember? Okay, now uh, look at the uh, years part. Okay, there is a pattern here. Okay, starting from 1500 to 1590, okay, it starts with zero. After which it is six, four, two, and then it repeats. It's zero again, six. Okay, so this way you can remember the code for the centuries. All right, next is the months. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. How do I remember this? So 144 is 12 square. Yes, uh, April is 0, uh, 25 is 5 square, okay, then it's 0 again, 36 is 6 square, okay, uh, 146, I can write it as 12 square plus 2, right, so this is 12 square plus 2, so this is how I remember, I remember 12 square, 0, 5 square, 0, 6 square, and then 12 square plus 2. Okay. And about the days, start with Sunday. This is Sunday, by the way. Okay. So, uh, have Sunday as 1. Okay. So, and then move further. Whenever you don't get a remainder, whenever the remainder is 0, okay, or 7, which means 0, okay, uh, the day will be Saturday. Okay. So, that is what we have followed here. Okay. Uh, we have added the values. Uh, with respect to the codes and then finally the sum is divided by 7 because 7 is the number of days in a week and we have to find out the odd days of this uh, sum okay the odd days will be the reminder which will give you the day hey youtube how are you doing stay tuned to facebook for more awesome videos don't forget to subscribe